Hi guys, today we're going to do a amplifier into a 2005 um, Holden Astra or Vauxhall or whatever you want to call it, Opal, whichever country you're in. And first we remove the head unit by these two um, pinholes here. They've got a uh, little brackets that goes in that pushes these things down and then you can remove it from that which I've already done and we're gonna run some line-up converters tap into the rear speakers here you can see that rear right rear left positive and negative so stayed up there and run that through down to here so I've already done that for you so we'll do that and then we can run a power cable from inside the cabin to I don't know where the battery is, which lies down here, right there. Okay, and after that, we're gonna run some remote trigger wires to the back here, and we're putting in a clarin subby pack, and this is where the fuse box is. Okay, so it's on the rear when you open up the boot, it's just right there. You can open up with some flathead screwdriver. Right. So yeah. And yeah. Just run it along down the side there. All the cabling. Just for an amp and subsequent. You don't mind running the power and the RCAs close together, that's fine. And that's the little amp that's gonna sit underneath the seat here. I mean, so that's your power ground trigger speaker output line converter which the customer didn't want to use that they want to buy an aftermarket one and also your RCA input so yeah very simple let's get to it already pre-done these so I got no one to help me today to hold down the camera while I'm recording and trying to work at the same time so this is how this thing goes. I'm trying to place it somewhere where you can record. I don't think it's going to work, but we'll see. Okay. Now we can shove this. It's got plenty of room in there, so we can shove all this back in there. Climate control back in as well. Final converter can sit on the side there, there's plenty of gap in there, so not to worry. This just pretty much clicks from the bottom and top, back in. Some of the models you can find your accessory wire from here, which this one here seems to be staying on constant all the time. This little guy over here, it's a little separate plug that's normally for illumination. On some of them, they've got like a little light that you plug into. This one he doesn't, so. Can't do much about that. It just all clips back together, and this just pushes back in, so. Got my RC down here. I don't know if you can see from that angle. I'm just gonna run into underneath the seat because that's where the customer wants his amplifier to sit. Beside that, the wires that in this new pack of the bearing stuff, it's not long enough to go all the way to the boot. So we're gonna run it underneath, try and hide it behind all carpets. Nice 
especially in the thing that's moving. That just goes right underneath the passenger seat there. That's fine. Nice and simple these cars to work with. So okay. This because it's in one loom already for the trigger and the output, it goes through the subwoofer. We're just gonna run together, tape it up, maybe what 30 centimeter. So just Got the own fourth part or so, and it's easier to run wise with when you just have them together as a bunch. So just a little bit of tape. Don't don't use zip ties because the zip ties makes it hard to pull through little gaps, especially if it gets caught. So that's why I like to use tape on it. Just so often, just a little, you know. Just a little bit of tape around there. Don't go spastic on it because you don't need that much. Just so often, keep it in there. All the way through. Okay, that's pretty much all done. Last one, sorry. Let's throw that that's where we're going to run it to. So now let's concentrate on bringing the remote wire from the inside of the cabin to the battery. I don't know if you can see it, but down there, let's say this is the fuse box. This here, looking at the Astra, so your battery is here, and just right behind there is your grommet. So just poke it through and grab it from the other side or vice versa whichever side you reckon is easier to run because the way they got a plug in it on this kit instead of going from the outside in I'm going from the inside back out <coughs> just makes it a little bit more fun all right and as we do that use a bit of good old WD-40 just helps with the cabling when it goes through. What I tend to do is to make my life easier is I just get a big screwdriver flathead and I make it a bit more sharper. I don't know if you can see that clearly. And then I put like a little V onto it, you know, grind it out. So what happened is as I'm putting the Y through. put it in so where the V is and it holds it in there just like that 
and it helps when you poke it through the hole just grab it from the other side and this is because it's not too sharp won't cut into much wire but it will certainly pierce through the plastic oh, sorry, rubber and for the back here what we're going to use is tap right into the fuse box i got some of this stuff here which is you just take out one of the fuse or if not whatever pop it straight in there and put yourself a fuse into there crimp your remote wire into here and voila that's it you know don't need to splice into wires because some cars are a bit of a pain in the neck but yeah makes my life easier that way so leave it there so when we get to it we'll just crimp it on nice and easy now for this we'll probably put like a um 7.5 amp fuse which is normally a brownie 7.5 yep Let's put down to there so when we get there we do that okay and uh, hopefully that will solve most of your problem if you need any questions got anything to ask yep. fire a question and i'll see if i can answer for you thanks